Hello there sports fans, my name is Bryce and welcome to another edition of Sports Dreamer Podcast. In this edition, we'll talk about fantasy football starts and sits for week 1. But before we begin our starts and sits, some terrible news from the Broncos camp that star defensive end Von Miller will have a season-ending ankle surgery. We wish Von Miller a very speedy recovery. We'll begin our starts and sits with the Thursday night football between Houston Texans and Kansas City Chiefs. For the Houston Texans, we'll start running back David Johnson. He'll be the lead back for this Texans team. And for the wide receiver side, we'll start Will Fuller. And for our sits, I'm not going to play wide receiver Randall Cobb and wide receiver Braden Cooks. Cooks was absent yesterday from practice with a hamstring injury. So even if he plays, he won't be that useful for your fantasy. And for the Kansas City Chiefs, I'll start running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Although this will be CEH's first NFL snap, I'll still start him. But temper your expectation on touches. Also, I will start Cheetah, wide receiver Tyreek Hill. And also, if you have a flex side, I'll start Michael Hardwin as well. But only as a flex. And for your sits, I'll sit running back Daryl Williams. Next game is the Seattle Seahawks versus the Atlanta Falcons. For the Seahawks side, I'll start running back Chris Carson. Also, I will start wide receivers Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. And for the sit, I'll sit running back Carlos Hyde. Just Hyde. And for Atlanta Falcons side, I'll start running back Todd Gurley. And I'll start wide receiver superstar Julio Jones and wide receiver Calvin Ridley. And please don't tell me you'll start Ito Smith. No. No. Next on the list is the Cleveland Browns versus Baltimore Ravens. And for Cleveland, I'll start running back Nick Chubb. And I'll start running back Kareem Hunt, but just for a flex side. Also, I will start wide receiver OBJ and wide receiver Jarvis Landry. For Baltimore, I'll start running back Mark Ingram. And I'll also start wide receiver Marcus Brown. For this matchup, I'll sit rookie running back J.K. Dobbins. Next game is New York Jets versus Buffalo Bills. For the Jets side, I will only start wide receiver Jamison Crowder. And for the left fans there, I'm really sorry, but Frank Gore, the Mr. Infinite, is still there. For Buffalo, I'll start running backs Devin Singletary and Zach Moss. But only use Zach Moss as your flex. For the sits on the Buffalo side, I'll sit wide receivers Stefan Diggs and John Brown. We just don't know the target share right now. Next game is the Las Vegas Raiders versus Carolina Panthers. For the Raiders side, I'll start running back Josh Jacobs. And for this week, I'll just sit wide receivers Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards. And for the Panthers side, if you don't start Christian McCaffrey, why did you even draft him? Also, I'll start wide receiver DJ Moore, but I'll sit wide receiver Curtis Samuel. Next game, it's the Chicago Bears versus Detroit Lions. And for the Bears side, I'll start running back Terry Cohen only as a flex, only if David Montgomery is not playing. Also, I'll start wide receiver Allen Robinson. And for your sits, if David Montgomery is playing, just sit him. He's coming from a growing injury. For the Lions side, I'll start both wide receivers Kenny Galladay, Kenny G and Marvin Jones Jr. But I'll sit running backs DeAndre Swift, who's injured right now, Kerryon Johnson, and newly acquired Adrian Peterson. Next game is the Indiana Colts versus Jacksonville Jaguars. This might be a lopsided game, tilting towards Colts side. So I would start both running backs Marlon Mack and Jonathan Taylor. And also, I'll start T.Y. Hilton as your wide receiver. For your sits on the Colts side, just sit Naheem Hines. And for the Jaguars side, I'll start wide receiver DJ Chark and running back Chris Thompson, but only as a flex and only on PPR leagues. For your sits for the Jaguars side, I'll sit running back Devin Ozigbo. And for our game of the week, it's the Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. For the Packers side, I'll start running back Aaron Jones and I'll start superstar wide receiver Devante Adams, but I'll sit running back Jamal Williams. And for your Vikings side, I'll start running back Dalvin Cook 
and I'll start wide receiver Adam Thielen. But I will sit rookie wide receiver Justin Jefferson. It's his first game. And for our next game, it'll be so weird because it'll be the Tom Brady-less New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. For the Pats side, I'll only start Julian Edelman as your wide receiver. But for PPR leagues, I'll also start running back James White. For the sits on the New England side, I'll sit running back Sony Michel. For Miami, I'll start running back Jordan Howard. Only if he's your only option, I'll also start wide receiver Devante Parker. For your sits on the Miami side, I'll sit running back Bat Breda. Next game is the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington football team. For the Eagles, I'll always start Miles Sanders as your running back, but temper your expectation as he was coming from an injury, and I'll sit Boston Scott. For Washington, I'll start sophomore wide receiver Terry McLaurin, but I'll sit rookie running back Antonio Gibson. Next game is Los Angeles Chargers versus Cincinnati Bengals. For the Chargers, I'll start running back Austin Eckler, and I'll also start wide receiver Keenan Allen. Wide receiver Mike Williams is game type decision, but even if he plays, I'm not gonna play him. Just sit him. For the Bengals, I'll start running back Joe Mixon, and I'll start wide receiver Tyler Boyd. But I'll be sitting wide receiver AJ Green. For our next game, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus New Orleans Saints. And welcome to the new era of Tom Brady in Tampa. And this matchup will be a high-scoring game for sure. So for the back side, I'll start both wide receivers Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. But I'll sit both running backs Ronald Jones Jr. and Uncle Lenny, Leonard Fournette. For New Orleans, I'll start running back Alvin Kamara and superstar wide receiver Michael Thomas. And for your sits, I'll sit Latavius Murray. Our next game is the Arizona Cardinals versus San Francisco 49ers. For the cards, I'll start running back Kenyon Drake. I'll start wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. For the sits on the card side, I'll sit running back Chase Edmonds. For the 49ers side, I'll only start running back Raheem Mostert, but only as your sure flex, because with this offense, we just don't know who will get the most touch per game. For your sits on the San Francisco side, I'll sit Wide receiver Debo Samuel. He's coming from an injury, so I won't risk playing him on your fantasy team this week. Next game is the Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Rams. For Dallas, I'll start running back Ezekiel Elliott, and I'll also start wide receivers Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. For Gallup, I'll only use him as your flex. For your sits on the Dallas side, I'll just sit rookie wide receiver CD Lamb for now. For the Rams, I'll start wide receivers Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. But I'll sit running backs Cam Akers and Malcolm Brown. We just know what the timeshare would be. Let's go to the Monday Night Football doubleheaders. For your first game on Monday Night Football, it'll be Pittsburgh Steelers versus New York Giants. For Pittsburgh, I'll start running back James Conner. He's healthy now, so he'll get most of the touches. And I'll start wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. For your sit, I'll sit running back Benny Snell. For the Giants, I'll start running back Saquon Barkley. But I'll sit wide receiver Starling Shepard for this game. For our last game of the week, it'll be the Tennessee Titans versus the Denver Broncos. For the Titans, I'll start running back Derrick Henry. And I'll also start wide receiver AJ Brown. For your sits, I'll sit wide receiver Corey Davis. And for the Denver side, I'll start wide receiver Cortland Sutton, but I'll sit both running backs Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay. So there you have it, our starts and sits for week 1. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. And please don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe. It'll help the channel grow. We'll see you again next time. Much love.